Alright everyone, welcome back. I know I said that my last game was going to be my last one, but that's okay. We are here for one map, and it is going to be Chez Bots against Tillback Legends. On the new map, of course, Blue Shift, you can see a lot of blue and a lot of stuff dying. I'm actually going to go check that out. Oh wait, I can't because my movement speed is messed up because I apparently messed up my keybinds. But enough of that, enough said, that's not really cool or anything of that sort. So let's uh, go ahead and very quickly look at the rosters this game has gotten underway. Uh, there was about a 40 second timer, so Shaz doesn't hate me quite as much, but nonetheless, it is bad. Just want to point out, Knutson loves this map, it's his favorite map in the whole wide world. Just uh, so everyone knows, so if he plays really badly, well, it's his own fault. We're going to go follow Catalyst for the starters, and then we'll go ahead and go over the rosters as Catalyst takes some damage from Knutson down to 47 health. He gets finished off there, though, by Tilbax. And it looks like that uh, Tilbax Legends are going to have a nice, easy return here. I'm going to go ahead and call them TL, because I don't want to keep saying Tilbax Legends. A lot of complaining coming out from Knutson already. It's only been about a minute, and he's already been complaining about everything in the world here. So let's go over the rosters and just ignore him. On Bloody, we are going to have Team Shaz with Brain Damage, Shaz, Cliffside, Drunken Jedi, Catalyst, Cookie Monster, and D6 Mesh. On Diamond Sword, we are going to have TL, or Tilbax Legends, with Tilbax, long and long shot. Uh, um, 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 someone who's amazing. x Yod Yad Sanclai, Knutson, and Sid Machinery. And oh my god, I hate those names. Anyway, x there, making a return for his team. The flag was all the way halfway across the map here for the Shaz team, but they didn't have the escort play that got them so far in the previous map. Or in the previous uh, matchup, sorry. And uh, they managed to get the flag return there. Anyway, Knutson has lost line of sight here on Catalyst, so Catalyst is going to be able to get a little bit further away here before getting shot down. Tilbax's trying to pin him down. Not going to happen. It looks like Catalyst is going to get a lot of support here. Shaz and Cliffside coming to help him out. X5 there, ready to try and intercept. Going to get some damage down. Misses that shot. Surprisingly, Catalyst was not paying any attention, though. The flag is down. X5 is going to be able to get the return. Shaz coming up a bit short there. I really thought he was going to be able to get that flag. Didn't happen, though. And Tilbax takes full advantage, or x Five, sorry, takes full advantage. So good play coming out there from x Five, And the Shaz team had a good attempt there and a good grab, just not quite able to finish it off there. So unfortunate for them. Defensive setups as far as they go. Brain Damage going to be sitting here doing the sniping for the Shaz team. Drunken Jedi going to be helping him out. Leet Chocolate was the other defender before. I guess now it's going to be Cookie Monster. Or they're going to go with a two defensive setup. It's going to be Cookie Monster, though. They are going to run with a three. And so running with a standard 3D4-0 setup, and those will be your three. On the other side, of course, we are going to have x Fi doing some defending, it seems. Uh, currently in a soldier, he does some very good chasing in a soldier as well, I guess. Uh, Knutso going to be helping him out there with the sniping. It looks like Yod Sandclay going to be helping out as well, so Tillbacks too. All right, so a 4D setup here coming out from TL. And it, okay, never mind, it looks like x Fi is going to go out on the offense. So x Fi just going out there to help, and it looks like they're going to be running a standard 3D with x Fi running a bit more in the midfield. This is apparently a booster, which I just found out now. I have never seen this map before. I mean, I've seen the... there was a video on it, and I saw that, but I don't actually know anything about this map, other than the fact that it's blue, or blue shift. So, holy shift is all you can say. Someone had to say that, and I was going to say it first. Anyway, Shaz, they're going to go after Knutson, is able to kill him off, so Knutson's going to be dead now for 10 seconds. Mesh there helping out with the damage. You see Catalyst is on his way in, only about 5 seconds out now at the most. Tilbax is still at full health, though, and Yodsan is doing pretty good as well. They're not going to be able to stop Catalyst, though. He does go down to the mine. So, unfortunate uh, clearing there for the Shaz team. He would have been able to get away at least a little bit further, and if Knutson had spawned over there, which he did they would have been able to get the flag probably fairly close back to their base. In this case, though, Mesh is going to get sniped out, and the flag is going to get returned. So a good attempt coming out there from the Shaz team. Just a couple of uh, execution errors coming out, or else they really would have been able to get away with that flag very easily. As far as this map goes, um, it's big. And... Well, there's force fields. There's bunkers. There's apparently rocks. And inventory stations. And there's Shaz coming in for the grab. And he's going to go down to Knutson's Claymores of some sorts. Yeah, I have no idea anything about this map. There's a really big crater here in the center. I'm very curious to see if we're going to see anyone actually use that. Seen all the routes so far. I've been going on and along the outsides. I've seen uh, Longshot been setting up for a couple routes. And he's always gone on the outside from the start of his base. It looks like he's going to be doing the same here. Just taking a very long route, which is interesting. I mean, it, it, people should be able to catch up to him, but we will see. Uh, Knutson asked me if I saw the snipe. I did not see his snipe. I'm sorry. He's gonna hate me for that, but, um, 
I don't want to tell him that either because, well, yeah, he's already going to be angry enough as is. But anyway, long shot all the way back to his base. No one was chasing. Shaz is here ready to intercept him, and he actually misses the disc. And oh, he gets team killed by Tilbax. Tilbax going to pick up the flag, though, and it doesn't look like it matters. The rest of the offense has already dropped for the Shaz team, and it doesn't look like uh, anything matters. So 1-0 coming out already. See, GG well played from Knutson coming out. Uh, a little bit of overconfident on that one. The Shaz team was fairly close to getting a cap off earlier, though, so we'll see if he's able to actually back this up. Shaz, if he hadn't gone for that uh, somewhat crazy mid-air shot, he would have been able to get the kill, most likely, if he'd actually just, like, you know, stood here and instead of body blocking, just gotten the shot off. Probably would have been able to stop it, but unfortunately went for the 7... Went... 7-0. Uh, Sorry, I was busy reading the chat. Went for the mid-air, and it didn't happen. And uh, because of that, TL able to get that cap. So I am going to go ahead and follow a capper because there's really not much to do when the map is this big. You can't do that much about it, and there's really not that much action that happens until the cappers are ready to come in. So we'll go ahead and follow them in as uh, as we do spot them. I know Catalyst is coming in now. Okay, I thought he was a little bit further out. Is taken down by Tilbach's mine again. So the Shaz team really struggling to get some good clear going here. And it looks, you know, they've had a couple deaths to mines and claymores, and they really need to solve that because they're not going to get very far in this game if, uh, if they keep refusing to do so. And so uh, you see Flag is down here in the field. Mesh is going to be coming after it, but one against three, he's going to go down. And uh, Knutson is going to be able to get the return. So Shaz's team just struggling here on the offense right now. Not a big deal. It happens. And uh, we'll see if they manage to pick it up again for the rest of the map. Cliffside here shooting at some people, but Longshot's on his way in. He is, of course, the capper, but he has been stopped apparently. So looks like their offense has just been completely shut down. They're not going to be able to do anything. So let's go find Catalyst all the way over there. And, uh, Indeed, just the edge of his route. We're not gonna not gonna show you the whole route for obvious reasons because people don't usually like it when uh, when I do that. You see, he's taking a, a interesting route. I have never seen this route before, and I don't suddenly. I, yeah, I was gonna say suddenly it doesn't look like it is a route. So we're probably gonna be seeing someone else come in for a grab. You see, Shaz is there, ready and waiting. Uh, if someone in the chat could tell me, are you able to pick up the flag and then boost through these things? Because that would be fairly awesome. Uh, and it would sound almost a little bit overpowered. But anyway, Cliffside was taken down, or was very close to dying. He's just gonna hide around in the side now as he regens up a little bit. Catalyst is coming in from the side as well. He's gonna go for the grab now. Misses the mine, and it looks like they're just gonna go for some escort play, which was their huge strength before. Yodsan is on him now, able to knock him down to 240. He's gonna be sniped out by Knutson, but Cliffside is coming in from the back, so unless they get the return here, he should be able to get picked- Okay. Cliffside not able to do anything. Shaz was not anywhere around. Although he- Okay, he's right there, so he was, uh... Shaz was around, just ready and waiting back at the base to go for the continuation grab. He's going to be taken down very quickly, though the flag is already down. Going to be returned here in just a second. Mesh just too far behind, not able to help out. And he goes down as well. So routes really seem to be the key, I guess you could say. Doesn't look like the escort play is going to work at all here. There was just too much. The map's too big, takes too long to gain speed. And yeah, so I guess we're going to be seeing a lot more routes incoming because I don't honestly think that escort play for them is going to work. Looks like you could possibly get a crazy angle like this as uh, Catalyst comes in, is able to avoid that mine somehow, but it didn't quite have the speed to get over that mountain, and that's going to be the whole problem. Shaz going after Knutson right now, able to get the kill, but Yodsan going to be able to get the return here, although Mesh coming in trying to stop it, not going to happen. Mesh just sort of flew over it, Yodsan flew below him, and that was the end of that. Looking at the other side, we should be seeing someone coming in soon, I hope. Sin Machinery doing some spam, um... M -m uh, Amnesium is uh, in a heavy there, shooting some mortars. x is there, ready and helping as well. Longshot going to be coming in now from the side, doing a decent route here. 220 speed. Cookie Monster is there. Brain damage looks like he's dead, has just respawned, is getting a couple sniper shots off on him now. Down to 309 health, but they need to get a lot more going here because there's really no one that's going to be able to stop him unless they have a couple people at the enemy flag stand ready and waiting. Brain damage is still lost line of sight. He is right behind that hill there. So he's going to need to wait a little bit longer before he gets some snipes off. Needs to reposition. Drunken Jedi is on his way in. There is Mesh there. Cliffside there as well. Cliffside should be able to turn around and get the kill here because Longshot does not have much health indeed. That's exactly what he does. Flag is down here in the field. You see he's just going to spam it a little bit now. Get some stickies off. Mortar's coming in as well, but it looks like they're going to be able to pick this up. Shaz, I believe, might have been cleared out as well. So we are going to be seeing a 2-0 now for Tilbax Legends as Sid Machinery is able to get that second cap. So Shaz's team struggling here. Not able to get any routes going. And uh, you see uh, Knutson with a couple of, um, well, to put it simply, uh, mockery taunting thingamajiggies. And uh, indeed, yes. Do they give up? Well, no. I mean, there's still 15 minutes left to go here. But it's not looking good for Shaz's team. They haven't really got. they've gotten one really good grab off, and it got to yeah, a little bit further than that mountain there. But a 
apart from that, and since then, they haven't gotten anything going there. Clearing just hasn't been able to clear these mines, and so Catalyst, anytime he's run around, has essentially been shut down completely. So if they manage to get that going and actually get the mine clears, they're going to be in a great shape. You know, they've killed off Knuts on here, they've killed off Yodsan, Tilback's the only one left alive, and the mines, they've cleared out a couple of them. So if Catalyst comes in now, he should be able to get something off, and we do see he is incoming now. Tilback's the only one left alive, Knuts on will have respawned, so will Yodsan. Are they going to have spotted Catalyst is the question. There's one mine there, two mines. He's going to need to kill at least one. Yodson spotted him. Shaz is coming in as well, though, on the second route. And Shaz is going to get body blocked by Tilbax. What a great body block. Shaz would have been out and away with almost full health, but a fantastic body block coming out there from Tilbax, able to get that off. And now Longshot has made a grab for his team on the other side. This could be a 3-0 here. Shaz getting stopped by Tilbax. Captains going at each other, and the Tillbacks team comes out on top. So long shot here on his way back. Full health, essentially, at this point. Brain damage shots just not landing right now. Shaz, with just a sliver of health, is not going to be able to stop this. Has actually gained a little bit more. He's he regened a bit, and now he might be able to put some good damage into Longshot. His Longshot misses his route a little bit there, and is going to have to take a very long uh, way to get back. Brain damage is going to force the punt here with the snipes, and this flag is down there. You see Cliffside didn't go for the return, just went for a couple shots. The flag is down there. Yodsan's gonna pick it up. Cliffside, really the only one left there. No health left on Yodsan. He's gonna be able to get the kill. Not gonna be able to get the return, though. The flag is down. Mesh is coming in now. Is he gonna be able to get it? He goes underneath it. And, uh, M.M. I hate that name. Ami, it picks it up. And Mesh is going to go down, and there we go. We're going to be looking at a 3-0 here. There's no way they're going to be able to stop this. Brain damage is not going to be able to finish off the heavy. Shaz, ooh, actually Shaz could go in and get something done. Oh, the flag is down. He's going to shoot Longshot. He gets taken down, though. And Longshot's going to finally put that cap on the board. So 3-0 now for Tillback Legends as Catalyst is on his way in, actually. Let's go ahead and follow him in, see what he's able to get going. Probably nothing. And uh, Knutsen with some serious smack talk going on now. They don't expect this, actually. He's going to be able to get the grab if he'd killed that mine. He would have been in fantastic shape, but Knutsen's going to be able to snipe him out. This map is so big, it's going to be really hard to uh, to prevent the sniper from getting off at least one or two shots, so they need to clear those mines better. Cliffside with a very nice grab, though. He's got a 1,000 health. Knutsen able to ping down a little bit of damage, but now he has broken line of sight, so this is a great opportunity. Yodsan is after him, but he's being dueled down by Shaz. Some heavy damage coming in, though. X5 is going after him as well. Some more shots coming in here from uh, Sid Machinery. Not able to land the disc, but down to 118 health. A lot of more fire coming in. Knutson's coming in as well with the snipes. They're able to take care of him. Yodsan with the kill. Flag is down on the field. There's a lot of players going for it. Brain damage is going to get there first. He got the kill somehow, and brain damage is going to save that. We had a grab going off in the meantime. It was not going to get very far at all. The Shaz flag is down in the field. Shaz is going to be picking up the TL flag. He's just going to go ahead and pump that Sid Machinery. The only one left alive. He's about to go down, and the Shaz team has finally cleared them all off. Cliffside's going to make the grab. They're going to get the return, and we're going to see a 3-1 to one here. So Shaz team probably going to get themselves on the board. Longshot going to try and stop it, but probably not going to be able to do anything. And indeed, here we go. 3-1. to one. The game is finally underway, I guess you can say. We let you get it, says the Knutson. And yes, indeed. I guess you could say that. But um, that was well done by the Shaz team. Cliffside with that very nice pickup in the field. I didn't think he was going to get that far. He didn't have all that much speed, but... Got a lot further than I thought, and the escort play finally rears its head now for the Shaz team, and they managed to put themselves on the board. So 3-1, to one, 12 minutes left to go, plenty of time. You know, they could easily tie this game up and possibly even win it. And if they do, well, that would be sort of amusing, because anything to uh, annoy Knutson is a good thing. But anyway, we'll go ahead and stick with the Shaz uh, side for a while. I haven't, I haven't looked at them as Longshot's been coming in, so uh, we'll, we'll keep an eye out here as Longshot is in the back there. No idea about route timers here, so probably about 15 seconds out at this point uh, with the way that this is. We are going to have to go follow Catalyst, though, who has made the grab. I don't believe Knutson is dead, though, so with just a sliver of health, he's going to be in a lot of trouble. Knutson is being dueled down, though, by Shaz. He's able to break line of sight, and all of a sudden, Catalyst, with no health at all, is back at his base. They might be putting the second cap on the board here, Literally a minute after they got the first one, Sid Machinery was alive there, but I believe he was either gone down or he went inside the base. X5 is going for the flag. Is he going to be able to get it? He gets taken down at the last second, although their flag was just grabbed by no one. It's grabbed by someone and then killed, and someone was there and then disappeared. I don't even know what happened there, but indeed, the Shaz team able to put the second cap on the board. So only a minute and a half after getting their first cap, which took them like 11 minutes to get, they get the second one. Catalyst with 96 health able to get all the way from the enemy base back to his. That's a big mistake coming out there from the TL side. They have Their defense had been so on point before. Knutson was nailing his shots. Their chasing was doing great, but this time they just simply dropped the ball. We're not able to do it. And now we have a very, very close game. One cap game here. Shaz going after Knutson. Knutson trying to get some snipes off onto, I believe, Catalyst. Indeed, there he is. Did not hit them, though, or... Yeah, he might have hit that. 
Yeah, but nope, Catalyst is just respawn or regenning now, so it's not a big deal. Shaz going up behind Knutson right now. Knutson is going in the air, and he's able to get that ping off onto Catalyst. Shaz able to get the kill, but it's not going to matter. Catalyst is not going to get that that far with two mines and two players there, so it's all on the clearing. Are they going to be able to do anything? Here he comes, and he's second now, and no, he just misses completely. They're going to have to go for escort play. In the meantime, though, Longshot has actually picked up the flag for the TL side. No one's really chasing him right now, and we don't have any sniper shots coming out from brain damage, so he must have lost line of sight. I saw Mesh over there dueling someone. He might be able to come over and intercept. Drunken Jedi on his way as well. Longshot taking a seriously long route to get back to his base. So they're going to have plenty of time to intercept. You do see Catalyst, uh, Shaz, and Drunken Jedi all on their way in. They might be able to get there before he gets back to the base. But now Longshot with almost 200 speed might get there first. Shaz is coming in. They do have Cliffside there ready and waiting for the block. And here we go. Catalyst comes in as well. They get the return. I didn't see how that happened. I, sorry, we got the kill from Drunken Jedi onto him, and it landed into Cliffside, I believe. So, still a 3-2 game as uh, Sid Machinery makes a continuation grab for the TL side. But a very nice play and set of defensive uh, maneuvers coming out there from the Shaz side. You see Brain Damage here trying to intercept Sid Machinery as well. who has 45 health. He does go down. The flag is going to be dropped. X5, the only one there. It's going to be returned, most likely. Could have some with a nice snipe, but I don't think it's going to stop it. There's just too many people here. Although Yadzan's actually coming to help, and he's got full health, and he has picked up the flag. D, uh, D6 Mesh is behind him, so is Shaz. Shaz with a nice nitron, forcing the flag down in the field. Met, uh, Yadzan has to stop and pick it up, but Mesh is there ready and waiting. He gets the kill. Flag is being popped, but Mesh is able to pick it up before he goes down. Very nice defensive stops coming out here from the Shaz team. TL just dropping the ball a little bit here. They really should have had that. That flag was so close to their base, they could have sent a lot of players to help out with that, but instead, they let the flag get returned. Longshot coming in here for the grab. No one was actually paying any attention. He's able to get the grab off very clean and smoothly. Uh, brain damage should have at least one or two more easy shots on him. Uh, misses the first one. Able to ping off the second one. Do a little bit of damage. Should still have... Nope. Just broken line of sight with a big hill. Catalyst is there, though. Looks like he's going to go for the grab instead of turning around and dueling. And we'll see if that was the right move. D6, uh, Drunken Jedi, and Brain Damage all on their way to intercept. I saw Cliffside just got taken down as well. Catalyst is going to stop. He has broken his route. And if they don't stop this now, they're not going to have any backup plan. He has taken heavy fire, though, down to 162. He's going to be able to toss the flag. Is he going to make it, though? Shaz is not able to stop him. Oh, Shaz, what are you doing? Let's him get by. And we have the 4-2 to two cap. Long shot getting through a lot of players there. Shaz dropping the ball ultimately there at the end. Not able to get that final kill. I don't even know what to say about that. I really didn't expect that. I thought they were going to be able to get the return or at least force the flag drop. But no, it is 4-2 to two now for Tillback's Legends. And wow, that was a, a very surprising cap that I, I must say that came out on that one. Only works for the home team. Thank you very much. Good to know. So you can't go through these boosters. That's uh, useful. Yeah, sorry. It's been so action-packed. I haven't had time to look at the, uh, at the chat in a while. So my apologies if you've sent messages of any sort. I have not been able to see them. Anyway, Catalyst on his way back in. Force fields are up, though. Generators finally being up for a team. Uh, somewhat surprising. As you can see, there is Technician. It's going to be Ami. I'm just going to call him Ami because I hate that name. As uh, Shaz makes the grab, he's not going to get far at all. He has no energy. Going to have to build up speed the old-fashioned way here. And Yodsan's even going to get an inadvertent body block. Oh, that's terrible. So Shaz here is just going to sort of boost away. He's going to give it a shot anyway, though. Why not? Knutson is where? Somewhere out on his base, I believe. And does not seem to have line of sight or else we would be seeing shots come in. Shaz actually stopping. Looks like he's going to go for a toss, I guess, at some point soon. Because uh, Cliffside is coming in behind him. He might have actually a little bit more speed. And it looks like that's exactly what they're going to do. No, nope, they're just going to go for the kill. Okay, so they kill off x Shaz Shaz is going to keep going with it. And now he's got some serious escort. Uh, Mesh and Cliffside both going to be able to intercept. And he's even going to toss the flag off here to Cliffside. Got a little bit more speed. Clearly a lot more health. Yod is going after him now. Yod gets sniped out, though. Or, sorry, sniped out and chained out by D-Mesh and uh, brain damage, and Longshot has grabbed the flag, but then got killed, so a very big opportunity coming out now for the Shaz team. Cliffside still hasn't taken any damage at all. Knutson is going to go down. Uh, they did have a Nitron that went out, and they were able to force the flag down there, but Shaz is there. He's going to be able to pick it up. He took a little bit of damage, and he has to punt it off again. X5, the only one left alive. He is going to go down. Brain damage has picked up the flag, and now the Shaz team in a great spot to bring this one more cap back. Oh, brain damage hits the side, though, and has been stopped, so a little bit more time coming in. Oh, no, whoever that was, that's got to feel terrible. They're going to get the cap. Was Yod. He was coming in, got hit by the side, not able to quite make it to the ledge. He would have gotten a shot off. In this case, though, they weren't able to do so. So 4-3, to three, and actually Catalyst with a really nice continuation grab. A Shrike is out, though. I don't think anyone was expecting that. I haven't seen a Shrike in, like, four maps now. And uh, finally, we do see one. The Shrike is not hitting very well, though. And Catalyst has made it all the way back to his base. But there are so many players here. There's no way he's going to survive this. 
Although the Shrike has already been abandoned, Catalyst is there. And right now, only X-Fi is going after him. The flag is down. X-Fi not quite able to get it. Shaz is going to pick it up. He has no health at all, though. Amy is there, ready and waiting. The flag just goes straight up in the air. It's going to be picked up by Cliffside. Cliffside, though, takes some damage from Yodsan, who comes in from the back. Nitrons and the flag is down again. Drunken Jedi going to be able to pick it up in the heavy. He's going up. No one's going to be able to stop it. The Shaz team going to go for the tie. They're not able to get it. Longshot picks up the flag at the absolute last second, and he is getting away. He was on a legitimate route. He is moving. He's going to make it all the way back to the base. We are most likely going to be moving into a standoff here. The Shaz team was so close to tying that up, and they just couldn't do it. But Longshot now suddenly in trouble. Shaz comes out of nowhere, able to get the chains. He's going to be able to get the kill. No, they're not going to get the return, though. Yadze are going in after him. Able to put some more damage. The Nitron goes down. Three people coming in for the flag. Shaz so close. Someone go for it. Cliffside finally goes for it. Brain damage is going to get that cap. So the Shaz team, with four minutes left to go, have tied this game up. What a crazy map this is. I must say, I am surprised by the amount of action there is on this map. It is a big map. And these two teams are giving it their all, and they are giving us the action. That is awesome. Indeed, Knutson, it might be overtime on this map. That would be very weird. But with the way this has been going so far, if another team doesn't cap in four minutes, I'd be fairly surprised, because both teams are just pounding it on the offense. Now, the defenses were the story at the beginning, but now the offenses are picking it up. See Shaz on his way in, D6 on his way in, Catalyst on his way in, Cliffside already at the base. Doesn't look like they're going to go after the gens, although Cliffside might actually be doing that and making me sound stupid. Okay, Jen is here. I don't see Cliffside, so maybe not. So I guess for now, we'll just assume that they're not going to go for it. They do have to clear the force fields then. Cliffside going to be trying to do that before Catalyst gets in. We see Mesh, Shaz also there. Catalyst already on his way, and they're not going to be able to do it, though. And he is going to be taken down, so Shaz and Mesh, the only ones here left alive. They're going to go after Killback, see if they can get the kill on him. If they do, they might be able to get Escort play, but it doesn't look like they're going to bother. Now Longshot made a grab. He was taken down, though. And it looks like it's going to be up to Ami and Sid to try and make this pick up. They're not going to go for it so much because Drunken Jedi is just going to babysit it. He doesn't want to get the return and give them the llama, but he does return it. And now Sid is going to give it a shot. Doesn't have much health, doesn't have much uh, team with him, but anything can happen on this map apparently as Drunken Jedi is able to get the Nitron, force him down, and that's pretty much going to stop this in its tracks. Sid's going to take some heavy damage. People are going to respawn and he is going to go down. So Sid is uh, going to be thwarted there in his attempt and the flag is going to be returned. We do see gens are down now. Force fields uh, no longer responding to anything. Cliffside, barely avoiding everything. Gonna go after Knutson, able to get some good damage on him. Is he gonna be able to get the kill? Not quite yet. He is gonna finally get the kill on him. There are two mines down. Mesh is there, gonna be able to clear them out. Catalyst is on his way in. He needs to get the full clear going in. Oh no, he picks it up accidentally, and Yodsan clears out Catalyst. Oh no, I don't think it would have mattered in that case, uh, Mesh. You don't need to feel too bad, but oh no, but now, yeah, okay, it did matter. Shaz was coming in on a route, and now he has to go for the Llama because they accidentally picked that flag up. He's gonna be taken down, and that's gonna get returned, so... Couple of routes disrupted there by unfortunate grabs by his own team, but uh, fortunately for them on the other side, they managed to keep their own flag secure, so we're going to go down to two minute mark here, with both flags essentially secured and safe. And, uh, wow. I need to take a breath, and I'm going to read chat. Okay, nothing important going on in chat. Good. Anyway, just so you guys know, I will only be casting this map. I need to leave after this one, unfortunately. Uh, I kind of hoped it wasn't going to go into overtime because it's really pressing me on time, but that's all right. I'll stick with it anyway and just deal with the consequences later. Um, Mortar's coming out now from uh, Ami, and we see Longshot on his way in. They don't have much clearing going on here at all. There are three mo two mines in a sorry, three mines in Claymore. They finally get the clear going now. Is it going to be enough? There's still one mine there. I don't know if they've noticed it or not. Longshot on his way in. A Claymore was dropped down as well. That mine, I guess it is, there we go, it does manage to land onto Longshot. He's going to take some heavy damage, 200 health, brain damage, could finish him off, but I believe he might actually be dead, and we have dual grabs going on here. Shaz is going to make it back to his base, it looks like, from the first view, so we might actually be seeing a standoff, which would be hilariously awesome. And uh, Shaz, all the way back to his base. So, each team managing to pull off the important grab. The question is, can they get the cap? x going to be picking it up now after they do go for the toss. No Nitron coming out from Catalyst. He's able to put some damage into x Fi, And Cliffside's actually there, ready and waiting. This could be it. Oh, no, Cliffside misses it. He has no energy to get it. The flag is sitting there on the field. Who's going to be able to get it? Cliffside's the first one up. He's able to get the return while he was cloaked. Drunken Jedi has to avoid Tilbax. Tilbax is the last line of defense. Shaz is there trying to kill him. They kill Tilbax. Shaz's team gets the fifth cap with 20 seconds left to go. They were down like 3-0 to zero or something. And now they have taken the lead with 10 seconds left to go. 
five to four. Krutsun is not happy. Abby coming in now. He's going to be stopped. And this game is going to be over. What a game. That was unbelievable. The Shaz team triumphing 5-4 to four in the last 20 seconds. Esports, people. That's what it is. Oh, my gosh. That was incredible coming out there from both teams. TL gave it their best, but, man, that Shaz team would not give up. What incredible play coming out there from both teams for the whole map. Wow. That's all I can say is wow. Okay, guys. Well, unfortunately, now I really do have to go, so I'm really sorry about that. I wish I could have casted more, but it's not going to happen. Head over to Doc Matrix 31 stream. I believe they're catching the rest of it, so if not, uh, check, uh, check the TA channel and IRC. There should be stream links and that. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, best of luck to these two teams. Best of luck to everyone still playing in the tournament. Make sure you keep following along, even if your team gets knocked out. Uh, hopefully, I'll see you guys tomorrow, and um, yeah, have a good day, guys.